See if it's puck him. Ava, ladies and gentlemen, do you like chess? We do, and we still play. But we also invented a new kind of game that will absolutely blow your mind. Because our minds are already out of the window. Blown away, in, in a way, well, whatever. Uh, my name's Carsten, he is Max, and both of us, we are Tribune. And um, yeah, if you want to play Tribune, it is for free. Uh, not that you earn money by selling it on your own, but you can play for free. Go down into the description and visit our homepage and go to the download section and you can either download everything you need for printing in 3D and 2D to, to play in the real world over a real board, or you go to the tabletop simulator and fetch our DLC for free. And then you're ready to rock. Um, I would say let's jump right into the board view of the tabletop simulator and you see everything is neat. You even have music. The music is by Darren Curtis, by the way. Darren, you did a fantastic job. I can just tell that every time we play. And yeah, we jump right into the game. Um, and by the way, every game we have on our channel, go to the description of the video, fetch the text file, copy it into this game, and you can replay our games exactly like they are. And you can even dive in. So at a certain point you can say, well, when I would have been the commander, I would have brought this dude down. And then you go. But now, enough words. Now it's time for action. And yeah. you began the game with a very simple idea. Just yeah. striking here. Not surprise, possible surprise. right now. But um, no future ideas, as per usual. I'm essentially mirroring. Yeah. And see, this is a special fact about Tribune. In chess, you just shuffle around the, the pieces on the board. Here you have the simple pieces, but by stacking them onto each other, you get bigger units with different patterns and different power and everything changes. And by the way, there are situations where you can harm an enemy unit, but you do not take it entirely off the board. You just harm it. You put it side some piece in it. it. Yeah, you can show. So in this situation, this threat as shown before is very vicious. Uh, let's say I'm not caring about it and moving this forward or something else. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Uh, you could take by walking there. And that's a little bit annoying. So you're both threatening my Tribune, but you're also attacked by this unit and this unit only. So you can take two pieces down from here with this unit, but then yeah. this unit remains, which would uh, still attack my Tribune and I would lose. So yeah. actually I cannot take this because you would win in the next move. And so I have to move away. Yeah, which kind of sucks as I have lo lost three pieces and yeah. you're in my vicinity and you know that's not cool. So <laughs> yeah, and that's so special about Tribune. There are so many tactics on this board, and it's really, really absorbing. Yeah. And you can even uh, go down very fast here if that were to happen then this would already be uh, devastating. An oh, attack, yeah. and the escape is blocked off, so... You should keep an eye out if four pieces are that close to you. So. Okay, back to the game. We repaired the board, and... Yeah, you address the threat by taking the threatened pieces aside and building one of the most powerful units in the whole game, the Ballista. The Ballista has... A striking power of six units and it is yeah l normally long-range abilities in this case it's quite restricted due to all the, the units around 
So I'm mirroring this. Yeah, it's interesting how we kind of mirrored each other. The only thing that uh, got not translated is that these pieces got combined out of the way. But everything else is uh, similar. Um, but I have planned... Mm. So you essentially, when you combine this unit... Uh, no, this one. Uh, you prepare to create an equus here. So for high unit, that would take this diagonal. When I did the same thing, I prepared this unit so that I would go onto the grey hexagons and in this case that's kind of nice as you have a unit that's very vulnerable uh, on the grey hexagons. But so. you have to admit, at this point this dude is still guarded by another Hestetus to his side and this archer here. Yeah, I'm just saying for the future yeah, maybe... Yeah. It might to go on this diagonal and attack the bullet. And that's absolutely true. The threat is a threat. And maybe you lose sight of what's going on and you do something stupid and then you're in big trouble. Yeah, you block my way. I was staring at this hexagon to, to launch an attack on your Tribune, but you just shielded it off. And there's really no way you can get to a ballista defender piece. Yeah, strong support. So I switch sides. Well, that was a little quick, yeah. but I combined here and I double click that accidentally, but uh, Again, I'm blocking. actually countering you. Yeah. This one I just moved forward uh, as I needed some sort of protection. In this case, I have this protection, so I felt like I could do this. But I'm not sure. I mean, I have something like a piston here. This is really strong. I mean, you you could even take here. I would say I can build those two. Uh, this is a common thing. Uh, I could take two again. You could take two. And then I would take two. And that would be like an exchange. Yeah, there but no an exchange anything. with the opportunity to open up this diagonal and, and fetch it again, I'm, I'm the one who's controlling these dark axes. Yeah, so that surely would have been a possibility, but I don't think you went for this uh, during the game. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah. Yeah. Switching colors. Well, there's really no threat currently. Uh, this is very well defended yeah. by uh, six points, so that's kind of neat. And, yeah, I, and I, uh, I attacked you. This here is another pluck. I'm, I'm now covering my own unit, so I have to get rid of it. And yeah, you are putting pressure here with your archer on this rider. And, and uh, even defending this one more thoroughly. So. Yeah, that really practical. <laughs> That's kind of unfortunate. So I'm switching again. But see, I'm under pressure. I'm forced to move. And I don't really like that. Yeah, and now you're in the driver's seat. This was yeah. a nice jump. Can you just take it back? Because for most of the audience, see, this Aquis has the opportunity to switch the whole board. I mean, just jumping over here and making use of this open diagonal. Okay. It's kind of interesting how fast these can be. Yeah. Well, they're riders. So <laughs> yeah. <that> makes <laughs> they sense. Are. Now I'm kind of threatening you. You probably do something about it. Yeah. yeah. Jumping. Uh, and see, a king is a king in chess. But the Tribune, he is a man of action. If necessary, he grabs a bow and he goes to work. And okay. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should have uh, slept longer today. Yeah. Anyhow, yeah. so the thing is, uh, I, I can't really get to him right now. 
um, the way you would determine this is you just look at the diagonals, which are both blocked by multiple pieces, so that's kind of annoying. So you should look at the archer, and the archer could attack from here, here, and here. But these spots are all yeah. either covered by this one or somehow defended by this one. So yeah, there's really you are a little too far anything. away. You won't get there in time. What would be nice if this would not be here? I mean, I'm taking it aside. If you could m make use of this open diagonal, maybe. Yeah, yeah. See, this rider is is still a very fitting pro protection. But yeah, yeah. So approach. there's no real threat here, but it's just. You know, annoying. You're close to the enemy. It's it looks kind of scary. Um, and I, yeah, you probably dealt with this um outright. Yeah, and <laughs> very important, attacking and supporting the unit that is threatened by this equus. Let's see, I. <laughs> yeah, this is a funny move. Yeah, I'm funny, but this is annoying. Uh, and the reason I think it's funny is uh, it kind of suffocates you. So mm. these four units are really screwed by this. This one is blocked on the diagonal and on the uh, straightaway. Mm. This Equus is blocked here and here. And this Aquas can get to the action too. And funnily enough, uh, if this Secretarius goes away, which in the game it did, uh, I can take this. As both defenders are mm. cut off. So let's see it in action. Yeah, you took there and I probably took there, yes. Yeah. Kind of, you know, annoying. I'm I didn't see you. it. Do and something. That was kind of br a brilliancy, I have to admit. Splitting this Equus up completely and by blocking this away and making me somehow move this unit, you, you, you open up my door. This is ridiculous, disgusting and absolutely beautiful. <laughs> sure is. I was uh, actually a little bit concerned that you would take here. Uh, it seems like a bold and borderline stupid decision, but you know, you could have maybe gone there or uh, maybe even back when I attack you. So, um, I, Usually when I'm going for th such an attempt, I'm finding myself in deep trouble afterwards, so... No. Yeah, perhaps. Um, yeah, and I think in this situation I did something. Yeah, I was very much unhappy with this. Uh, actually, what I think would have been better in this situation, of course, I take back? you can tell, but this pretty much does the same thing. But the reason I think it's better is uh, so, so the idea behind this is opening up that uh, so that I can get here and threaten to decombine. And you can't take, because if you take 3-3, three, three, you remain, you're mm -hmm. dead. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason why I think this would have been substantially better is uh, that you could combine here. And threaten. And because I combined there, I couldn't do this. Yeah, but mm, just attack from here is not enough. I could take with a tribute. You could take, but in the future, I, yeah. I think this... A hexagon got protected. It could become juicy. So, it's just a possibility that I c that is just not there. Yeah. Currently. Yeah. And this is a tiny, tiny little detail that's different, and yet maybe crucial. Perhaps yes. Um. And so you took there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Valid. Why Why with a Ballista? Because, as you mentioned before, I'm kind of stuck. This way I'm changing the color complex. Now I'm threatening 
this Equus here. But if you move aside, I'm threatening also this Hestatus behind. You cannot really combine because this field is covered by this. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I do not really remember how the game proceeds. I'm curious. Yeah, me too. It's just... I mean, you could be really bold and just walk up here. <laughs> ask the question whether you want to do this exchange. So uh, you could take, I could take back, you could then take, and then I would take here. So yeah. I would win one piece. That's true, but you would have... Yeah, I, I, less. yeah I, I would lose my most powerful unit and you still have yours, so yeah, you... You combine and this as I said you cannot really combine here no you can why because I can just take one piece and then you have an archer and this is shooting my rider completely into debris and so that this is not an option and so you went back um no the reason that I was a little bit dissatisfied was uh, that this option, uh, the way I did this, leaves these two hexagons open again. So yeah. that you can... Oops. Uh, I can so run for it. Run back. And um, I was honestly not expecting you to take there. Yeah. Uh, Me neither. Like, <laughs> but I did it. What the hell? Well, this one was free too. Yeah. But but and I don't know. I I think I dislike this one more. <laughs> this is interesting. This is interesting. So I still have my my archer here, my Sagittarius, ready for action. Okay. Oh yeah, I remember this. Yeah. You took Impero. I took Impero. Wow. Just a second. This is another peculiarity of this game you cannot just take you can temporarily command an enemy unit by stepping onto it and then you can make use of its power and its movement pattern i lost two pieces because of the counter attack but my sentinel remaining on top can still force his unit to move under my command oh jeez that was I just want to another one. Yeah. Uh, let, let's just repair the board. That's really interesting. Yeah. I will take this move back. I for sure thought. Oh, like, oh what, what the? Uh, this is some. Wait a second. <laughs> I will deal with this. <sighs> okay. Wait. Let me take back and go forward. Yeah, I would say. <laughs> Here the board. Yeah, uh, and there it is. Here it is. <laughs> no problems whatsoever. Um, I for sure thought you would have done this. It looks so natural, right? I mean, mm. sure I can combine, but that's I could do this anyways. Um. And now you have a quite tangible threat, right? Uh, you, you can do this. And perhaps you can combine yeah, like You this. combine and it's over. Oh no, that's, and it's not over. <laughs> that would be really stupid. Yeah. Um, anyhow, um, no, but this is like a very tangible threat you have yeah, here. Right. You know, have to combine. Yeah, you oh, can, well, but well. you can annihilate the threat. And that's special about this. You, you you escape, and then I have nothing. So I'm I was not sure unless, about this. Unless this would have been the decombination, and in this case you could have done this. That's like a different story. I yeah, but now you can take. You have another status here at your side. Oh, that's true. I don't mm -hmm. know. This will work. That's and just so you have to. Back. Take back, repair. repair, and that's a very peculiar error there. Anyhow, yeah. I don't know. Let's just move on. I went out of the way. 
uh, with the intention being that I can control a few hexagons here and uh, in the future maybe attack you. So that was kind of the idea there. Yeah, but your leader is now stripped naked, man. <laughs> Why would I care, huh? <laughs> Oh yeah, that's nice. I didn't c see this one coming. So you jumped ahead with the Sagittarius, protecting this field, and now you can slide him to protect against this threat. I mean, really? And I'm threatening this. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, whoa, no. whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Ah, yeah, that's a move. So, I saw that you could take... And it's always not good if you lose your Sentinels on a Ballista, because you do not just lose your pieces, but you lose the control of the pieces below. And so the enemy gets them back. They are not taken. They are still on the board. Yeah, and I went back for... For some reason. <laughs> um, yeah. I think it's kind of obvious that, you know, one should have done something along the lines of that. Uh, this move is very much multi purpose, it uh, maintains the protection. You can go there and attack the Tribune. Uh, uh, and if you were to take from my Ballista, uh, I would just regain the two pieces. Yeah, that's why I'm not taking. And so this would kind of be a nice way to go about this. But I, yeah, uh... this is again the toothless lion. I'm threatening you, but at the same time, there's no threat at all. Well, uh, lions or, or any wild animals that can't hunt their usual prey sometimes get more intimidating. So, like I'm taking from another piece. Anyhow. I mean, this unit was very, very important because this Sagittarius was providing decent uh, support for a lot of pieces around. Now he's gone and everything gets loose instantly. I mean, you find nice ways to, to still protect everything. And I'm blocking out both of them, which is also kind of funny. Even though, I must admit, that still seems like something... Oh, no, not like this. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, but Plus. I would lose three pieces here, and in the end, it's often about material. And so if I would take there, you could even consider this. Yeah, but still... Where is... Well, this is very much... Threatening. I mean, you can. You can... Yeah, you. <laughs> Why did you take that? <laughs> I didn't do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Go know. On. No, uh, really. Anyhow, so that would have been a possibility to get through. It's kind of a fun episode. Ooh. Yep. And the idea behind. I mean. You're attacking this field. You could easily take two pieces, but if you would, I would have a ballista going here. And even if you take again, I would say, well, there must be some kind of win. And I was and very I guess much there is. Yes, uh, and I was very low. <laughs> this on I, wait, 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 wait. This is so brutal because this tiny little dude, if you place him here, you block off the ballista so the initial attack can still go on. But if he is here, he is protecting this field so you cannot escape. And here you cannot escape the whole time because your own man would bring you down. This is nice. But it, you, you foresaw this tactic, so you didn't go for it. Yeah, actually, in this game, I think I ran out of time. Didn't yeah, I? in the end, but not, but not at this point. Oh yes, I, I did run out, out of time in this, in no, this not, situation. Yeah, I'm yeah. really certain of it.
Okay, um, but but I, I was really so proud of these tactics I found. You mean I, 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 sacrificing two pieces, then going to another spot, sacrificing another two pieces, and still win the game? That would have been yeah, nice. Yeah, that was really cool. Like, that's a very uh, unique tactic, I think. Okay, yeah, now I didn't I'm see... I'm threatening this, which is, like, the point of it. Uh, and the idea is to uh, take this down and combine two ace into area. So very straightforward. Um, yeah. You're attacking me. Yeah, I'm... yeah. The sentinel kills the hostages. And now there is the... oh. No. There is the uh, Centuria. The absolutely most powerful unit in the whole game. Short range weapon. Something like a melee unit, but so powerful that it can bring everything down in an instant. Yeah, and so... Yeah, I'm cleaning up now. Clean up, wasn't it? Huh? Like, Sorry? Currently, I don't have a lot. And the way you determine this is you look at these... Uh, uh, seven single units. Clumps of units. Seven so if singles. you count them, you would uh, count seven. And if you count these, I have count six. Five. So that's no, obviously yeah. an advantage. Not five, seven, it's six. Oh. But, but it's okay. I'm already five points up in material. And I just absorbed two of my men below my tribune, and you absorbed seven. So I have an advantage of five, the difference between two and seven, and five. So I have ten pieces more active on the board. And also you have... Bigger units. One, two, three, four, five, six pieces that can do something. One, two, three, four. That's my whole arsenal. So this is like why you would say the white side is kind of superior in this position. Um, yeah, and it's kind of clean up right now. I'm not really sure uh, when you see the time control. I guess yeah, it's a little bit corrupted. Zero, zero. Ah, yeah, we, we played a 0-0 zero, zero game afterwards, yeah. Yeah, I went... <laughs> I was... I was calculating all the variations with this Centuria, and we both uh, didn't keep track of yes, the time. That's what you ran yeah, out. yeah, now I remember what you said. Yeah, you ran out of time in the initial game at this point. Correct? Yeah, yeah I didn't get this. Yeah, now we proceeded the game with a 0-0, zero, zero, so from this point on the time control went completely out of the window. Okay, uh, yeah, making use of it. I mean, now two Centurii clashing, but mine can be sacrificed. I, you know, I just have to, to deal one damage point. Uh, this is pretty fast for the usual audience, I would say. Maybe take, take, take well, two... Hmm. What? The, the reason I was kind of fast is, um, well, I was a little bit too fast on the decombination. Uh, thing is, currently, um, basic, basically, the game plan is going to be, uh, he's going to take pieces uh, in trades that are winning for him. For example, taking three, being taken with three, and then taking one more piece. You win four pieces, but only lose three. Right? Uh, and stuff like that. Or, or just taking like this. Uh, let me... Please. I'm taking Wait. back one step. Because what... Or two, t two steps. What I did is I'm splitting up. And I'm now threatening to win the game. And simultaneously I'm threatening this unit with two attackers. So now three. you have to deal... Uh, I completely... Uh, three. Yeah, like three that. attackers. And... and the, the most important one is the smallest unit because I can take three pieces by just offering one. That's true and I can't even get close. So now what you did, you 
decombine the Sagittarius, blocking my way and re-attacking this unit with at least two, three points. Still good, because if you lose this one, three pieces, you can deal damage three pieces, so it's equal. And I went for this exchange and yeah, no. Uh, I still won one piece, but it and so didn't go. The, the reason why I'm going planned. to be a little bit quicker is um to to keep the video shorter. And the <laughs> game plan is to attack me and to do winning trades from yeah. now on. And we're going to highlight like the main attacking ways. And, okay. Um, and here it's some prep. You try to make use of everything you have. You say, come on, let's brawl this out. Yeah, I want to get close to him, but there's really no way I can. Uh, if you look at these two. Yeah. This, I can't use either of these four hexagons. You could go here, but no. This That's is just an attacking field. It's not something where you can walk. I really... I'm threatening you. Yeah. I'm Attacking. Threatening me. And now you can get closer. But you cannot take. Because it's protected. It's protected. Preparing. Attacking the Sagittarius. And you jump over from a protected position. Now I'm under pressure. And I have to decide going somewhere here in this area or centralize a little so that I still maintain control of the situation. I have enough further escape fields. Honestly, I'm just in a very, very tight spot. Um, <laughs> yeah. If you look carefully at where I can go and where I can't, you will see that I only have this hexagon left. Mm. Please? Three units cut off everything else. And I would say this is the most important one. See, four fields in the vicinity are dead. And then these, the other two, keep uh, yeah. these hexagons away, and this one also has this in uh, its field of view. So that's kind of annoying. I can't do a lot right now. And so that's why I kind of was um, attempting to make way. Like, for example, this gives me a, a sort of escape. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tidy up, man. <laughs> so here's the ballista. And the ballista can go directly into melee range because here are so many fields still protected by the Sagittarii. Yeah, you go there and now the Ballister goes where you said it would and it did. Now I'm on your back. Yeah, I can move to this hexagon now and that's pretty much it. Exactly. Yeah, uh, because they're doing like cross defense. Yeah, this is the only field. That's a pity that there is no protection for this field. And here, three has Tedai. Simple. And they're all protected. I just I just drew the lines. I Yeah. It's a little bit messy in this situation actually, but it's very complex. No, it I mean, if you lose sight on the first games you will, but if you proceed playing Tribune, you will you will absorb these situations and, and you see the patterns. It's still hard, but that's fun. That's really fun. And I think here it w even was that you... Uh, ah, yeah. In the yeah. game you suggested another move to me, which I think is also interesting. Uh, the move would have been this. Yeah. Something and like that's that. interesting because either you take here and get uh, pushed down, or you decide to go up here. 
And then you would kind of uh, try to do the same thing, summoning him in, but now he can't go this way anymore, for because you have these. Yeah, but you could slip out here now, you can get here, and I'm, uh, I'm not that well, sure. Actually, you, like, even if you go here, so what? You, you just come closer, mm. there's no way to actually run uh, yeah. away from this. And you can't do a whole lot. Yeah, but right? then you can go here, and now you're threatening this dude. Yeah. So <sighs> what? Do this. And if you take... Take... Whoops. And then you can take back, because your Tribune is still yeah, a Tribune. Yeah, I see. The Tribune is maintaining this, and, the end, and now you're... If in you have to go here. And, you know, th then you just have to deliver the final blow, so... No. Okay. I don't know. It's all, all very fascinating. I think <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty much screwed in this position. Oh, this is true. But Let's under time pressure, you have to find this way. That's true. Well, well we ha did not have time pressure. Zero, zero. Yeah, that, that's correct. But usually when I'm hunting a, a ballista uh, or you know, a centuria this way with a, with a bunch of, of uh, savvy, the, the smallest ones, I would prefer you being in front of me because the savvy attack slantwise ahead. If you are in their back, they're not doing much. So that's why I went for this approach. So everything it's also is also very nice. You have more pieces to the party, which makes it easier, of course, to do things. Then I wonder. I I'm always a fan of like giving up stuff. Like this would be a very, uh, very thorough invitation to do this. Yeah, but you can't really like get away. If this happens, which is kind of funny, right? You're really blocked out, and I don't know, I just think that's kind of an, an interesting way to play at least. Like mm. doing this in the future, pushing you down. So, yeah, possible. Absolutely. But then possible. you have a counterplay, of course. So, what, a, what did I do? <laughs> yeah. If it's an attack and it f basically brings me upwards. I just we wanted to have a lot of these dudes with a spear in the hand. They are hunting the bear all together and finally, hopefully, bring him down. This is, by the way, defended here. This yeah. is defended there. An attack. I can now move to multiple hexagons. I chose this one. Uh, as it gave me a prospect, for example, you, you do this, I don't know, uh, then, well, I don't know, like this, then you, I could go here. Mm. Kind yeah, of you my can last. still throw this game. But, um, yeah, that didn't happen. Uh, mm. I got attacked. And, uh, yeah, and take it back, take it back, because now you stepped into my sword. Why? Because, ah, sorry, sorry. sorry. Well, yeah. I... <laughs> well, that's quite, a, quite some acrobatics there. <laughs> Yo, I wanted just to pick up him, and you just watch the green fields. This one protected by multiple Hestadi and the secretaries. This gray. These two are the main. Yeah, I, and I, you can just go to the gray and the light hexes that's the important point you can attack on the dark hexes and so these two are just devastating yeah and so and you are attacked and you have no fuel are left but they're taken away by this one yeah and so I had nowhere to go, but I was attacked, and so I chose to uh, go, out, go out with a bang. Yeah. I could have also done something like this. Or no, it's something like... else, it doesn't matter. 
<laughs> Not but like I... Star Trek. To boldly go where no one's gone before. <laughs> and losing uh, your head. The prize. <laughs> yeah, but a tough game. A tough fight. And, uh, yeah. I, I was proud that I could deliver such a blow against... I mean, hunting a Centuria down. Try it. Try it on the board. Try it on a time pressure. It's really a thing. But... Um, I did. I improved a little what regarding oh. this. Um, but make no mistake, I am losing a lot of games against this dude. <laughs> okay. So we're out and on the goodbye screen. Hello. Uh, <laughs> we're on the goodbye screen. Mm. And uh, this is the place where I tell you to please subscribe, like, and ring the bell. <laughs> Furthermore, yeah. uh, you could consider sharing this video with your friends or somewhere else. Um, as long as you share it, we really don't uh, care to whom. And, um, you know, you can find everything uh, as described in the link in the description. We have a website mm -hmm. <laughs> with the download section uh, where you can also get the manuals, which is also ah. kind of neat you can see them here but you can print them out if you want to yeah. um and and you can I... watch them here tuck, tuck. oh sorry and uh yeah and blah, blah, blah. Everything i think here. that's about it for this episode uh, i hope you enjoyed this uh the game or the game not of itself uh and we just wish you a great day and a wonderful time and I will say see you soon. On Tribune.